Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today we will be playing the Crown Championship Challenge. Last video I left off at 7 wins and 2 losses, and that is exactly where I'm picking up. Um, warning, the last video I'm going to have to cut, so I will show that replay. I'm going to show it times 2, so it doesn't take up too much of our time. This was a pretty great battle, honestly. It was good. I threw out my Golem Goblin Barrel after they threw out theirs, but theirs did way better than mine did. But I dropped my Ice Wizard there, but then they did so much damage to our tower with that insane push. It did so much. And then they fireballed it and got even more. So I started a little Pekka push here. I had my Zap ready. I decided to drop my Poison instead, and I take out the tower. So I'm like, hey, it's okay if they did that much damage. I took out that tower, so I tried to zap it, I decided not to, I just tried to drop my skeleton army, it does pretty well. I threw out my own goblin barrel, it goes short this time, I'm trying to fake him out, you know, but it doesn't really work. So I kill their minion horde with my executioner, and they tornado and end up killing it before it gets any damage. That tornado becomes very annoying, by the way. I drop my ice wizard, and I decide, you know what, I'm just gonna drop my inferno dragon. And then my P.E.K.K.A. and they drop the Royal Giant and I'm like, you're a pain in the butt. And then I decide to drop my Executioner, which was really clutch. And I start this insane push and I throw out my Goblin Barrel and I get nothing damage at all. And I drop my Skeleton Army and my Zap. And I totally stop him from scoring. So I try to drop my P.E.K.K.A. and they drop that. So I'm like, I'm gonna Poison and then I'm gonna Ice Wizard. At the last second, they throw on the freaking fireball and take the tower, and I'm so ticked off. Because I should have won, and it makes me sad. And then their goblin barrel gets a ton of freaking damage. So I'm sitting here trying to play some defense. It's not really working. And so I'm going to goblin barrel here. And then I'm going to drop a poison. Which ends up being a really good poison. And I'm going to get some decent damage on, but I'm still losing. And their Goblin Barrel is getting a ton of damage. And I'm dropping my P.E.K.K.A. to take out the Royal Giant, which is about to take out my freaking tower. And I poison that. And then I Goblin Barrel. And then they Tornado. And I'm like, that's my tower. And I took it. And it was great. So that was pretty good. Uh, I figured now we'll hop into a match, see if we can maybe push to 9 wins. Or remember to try to buy one of these. Let me know what you get in the comment section below. Let me know what you use your gems for. Also, let me know how far you got in the challenge and what you got from your chests if you got to 5 wins or 9 wins or 14 wins. And let me know if you won. That would be pretty amazing. So with that being said, let's just hop into a video. A battle. They're different. Okay. We're just going to Goblin Barrel off the bat. Cause it seems like a decent enough move. See what they got, you know? Oh, great. They have a Night Witch. Everybody's favorite. Um, oh, they're doing a Night Witch Golem deck. Lucky for me, I prepared my deck for dealing with such things as a Night Witch Golem deck. I prepared my deck to deal with the nastiest of the decks. Including Night Witch Golem. Um, there's the Golem. In the Night Witch Golem. Okay. We're dropping a Furrow Dragon. And we're gonna zap that because it's annoying. Zap it. Okay. There's no way that Golem is getting to my tower. I will not tolerate that. I will kill it before it gets to my tower. Oh jeez, no I won't. It's gonna get to my tower. I won't let it get to my tower. I will slow it down until it doesn't get to my tower. It didn't get to my tower. It got a little bit of chip. That was it though. They're doing a Night Witch Golem deck. Guys, that's a pain in the butt. Luckily for me, that was a terrible zap. I hope they realize how bad that zap was. I'm gonna go ahead and poison this other elixir collector because I don't want them pumping any elixir. That was a good poison. That got that did a good job. Um. Yes, they're gonna go ahead and drop their gold in there like a pain in the butt that they are. Well, guess what? They're gonna drop a Night Witch behind it, too. I'm calling it. No Night Witch. Okay. That's all good. No, stop it. Stop being annoying. I need to kill your P.E.K.K.A. before it gets to my tower or does any damage. 
We're going to attempt to zap all that away. It didn't really work, though, but we did zap most of it, so it's okay, I guess. It looks like we're just going to have to slowly chip this dude. Bro, go, bros, we're already at times two elixir. We're already at double elixir? This is insane. We're going to poison all this. Poison all of it. All of it. All of it needs to die. That poison is coming in really good. That poison is being insane. No, stop it. Pain in the butt. Piece of crap. No, not that. That. Now that. Now. Ice wizard. We need clutch defense right now. We need the best defense we could possibly get down right now. I don't have my P.E.K.K.A. We cannot let them take the tower. They're gonna take the tower. Oh, piece of crap. But she's gonna stick. Poison. Goblin barrel. Come on, be clutch. Yes, guys, we took a tower. They took a tower, we took a tower. That is how it works. Okay, great. That was amazing. That was exactly what we needed. Okay. The game isn't over yet. Yes, the Nightwish Golem deck is a pain in the butt. Guess what? So are we. With our poison. Yeah. Our poison is what makes us a pain in the butt for sure. We're going to actually drop this poison defensively. Defensive poison is something I do not use very often. I don't think I've actually ever used it, to be completely honest. I don't think I use defensive poison at all. But, jeez, they're still getting damage, even with all my amazing defense. The game glitched for a second. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, that was actually a helpful fireball, but at the same time, a cursed fireball. Go ahead and goblin barrel over there. Over there. I oh, don't. No, stop it. Stop it. I need to take your tower. Piece of crap. Poison it. Dang it. Okay. Ice wizard to distract like a hacker. Executioner to kill the night witch like a hacker. Will I get my P.E.K.K.A. up? I will get my P.E.K.K.A. up. My P.E.K.K.A. is good. And I hope they're just going to surrender, because that's what I need them to do right now. Nope. But guess what, I'm going to get some good damage off of my freaking annoying piece of crap cards, like my goblin barrel that I'm starting to be really insanely glad that I brought in this deck, because it's really annoying, and it's driving the living heck. And it's driving annoyance out of my apartment. So, oh guys, I think if we poison here and then hit off at that, we might actually be able to take the tower here. How much? We're gonna zap it. The good team, the thumbs up! Guys, that was amazing! That was probably the best battle I've ever done. It's unfortunate that did not lead to 9 wins. Okay. We're at 8 out of 10, guys. I believe in us. Good luck. Thumbs up. Good luck, thumbs up. Good luck, Danielle. I need to beat you. I'm sorry. We're gonna drop our executioner all the way in the back. We are going to exert pressure. Drop the packa, 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 packa. Yes, we distracted. Haha, our packa got out there in time. Our ice wizard will not. That's, that's terrible. Oh no, it will. Oh, clutch. Good ice wizard. Good ice wizard. Okay, our executioner over there is gonna get a bit of chip. It's not terrible. It's it's pretty okay actually. A bit of chip is not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're gonna drop a skeleton army because we don't want that freaking pain in the butt piece of crap cards. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh. Guys, we're gonna have a hard time winning this one. I'm telling you. This one's gonna be a tough one. Executioner, come on. With the ice wiz, with the electro wizard and the other wizards and the cards and the oh bandit piece of crap. Why do you have to have these cards? These are just the most annoying ones. Why do you have to have all these annoying legendaries? I mean, at least you don't have like the princess. Oh great, he has a pack of push too. Great, I love I love facing other peckos. You know what? I'm just gonna drop my inferno dragon. Inferno Dragon's amazing. 
It'll kill your P.E.K.K.A. before your P.E.K.K.A. can kill my P.E.K.K.A. Bang. My P.E.K.K.A.'s insane. How would your P.E.K.K.A. still have so much health left? That's not even possible. I was supposed to kill your P.E.K.K.A. with my insane pushes and stuff. With my Inferno Dragon. Why did it not work? I'm gonna zap that because I'm not losing this. No, stop it. Stop it. No, pain in the piece of crap. What the freak, guys? What was that? Ah. Guys, that's really annoying. Unless I get a legendary in this, I'm not gonna forgive anyone. I'm gonna share that. Mmm. I was at eight freaking wins. What was the pain in the butt? Piece of crap. Ice wizard, electro wizard, bandit, mini P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. wizard. What the freak? Guys, that's annoying as freaking heck. Well, guys, I guess that'll be it for today. Um, Tomorrow I'll get on and... Use another free entry. This goes on for another four days. So. Yeah, I'll probably use these 30 gems I saved up on it too. I'm going to try to get to nine wins. Or maybe even 14. Since this deck is pretty clutch. But yeah guys, that's it for today. Um, So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.